Hello, Inside Out is on the River Trent and 10 years ago all around me was underwater. Tonight we're asking who's safe and who's not when the floods return. Also tonight, rediscovered this remarkable colour footage. Moss rounds the gasworks hairpin in impeccable style. The Monaco is a very special race. I mean, everybody wants to win Monaco, I think, more than any other. And the bizarre tree festival that takes Nottingham's Italians back to their roots. Viva Nottingham! Finally tonight, the story of how a small piece of Italy ended up over here in the East Midlands. To find out what really happened, I travelled halfway up an Italian mountain to take part in an extraordinary festival and discovered it all began with one man. <laughs> This is one of Italy's biggest and most bizarre festivals. I wonder if they've had to fill in the health and safety form for that. It attracts thousands of people from all over Europe. And a group from Nottingham, drawn back to the place their families were forced to leave behind. This is Acciatura. And this tiny hilltop village in the heart of southern Italy started an extraordinary exodus which brought thousands of Italians to Nottingham. It's early in the morning and the village of Acciatura is on the move. And along for the ride, as they are every year for this ancient tree festival, Italians all the way from Nottingham. So it's first thing in the morning and this is the village of Acitura on the way to a forest to cut down a tree. And the Nottingham contingents are sort of on the back of these trucks at the moment as they're going past. Time. It's all a bit mad really. This annual pilgrimage to the place their ancestors came from is their chance to show pride in their roots and support the local community. We all come from Colton, Bulletin, Stentondale and a few in Bramcote. I've been Queen Version every year since 1967. And you're with your boys this time? Uh, this time I'm with my boys, yes. yes. And how many times have you been at this? Um, for this festival in particular, five out of the last six years. But we've been every August since what we were since you were born, basically. Yeah. Viva Nottingham! We love that team. We, we, we love that team. We love England. Boom, uh, cut my arm off. I'll bleed Italian. We support Nottingham Forest, though. Nottingham Forest, Forest we every die. time. Yeah, every we time. love Forest. <laughs> love Forest and Carl Flux. The little businesses. This is what they rely on. People like themselves coming here and supporting the small bars and the community of Acciatura. So if you didn't come back to Acciatura, what would happen to your village? Uh, slowly, slowly, I think it would dwindle away, in a, in a, in a sense. It would slowly disappear. Mori se porta. Il terzo giorno resuscitato secondo le scritture. È salito al cielo e siede alla destra del padre. Just having a little mass in the middle of the forest before we go further down the mountain to collect the tree for today's festival. And the priest is just blessing all the people of Achatura and wishing them good fortune today in their search for the tree. It's quite beautiful really, isn't it? Witnessing this spectacle for the first time like me is Valeria Passetti. I'm Italian, I've never seen anything like it. Where I come from, in Tuscany, we don't have anything that vaguely resemble what's going on here. And it's very, it's very nice to see so many young people taking part in such an old tradition. Back home in the East Midlands, she's the region's honorary Italian consul, offering advice at a weekly surgery in Nottingham. And there, she sees more Italians from Acciatura than anywhere else. It appears that the three quarters of the original 
uh, population, or the, the regional nucleus of the, of the Italian community, comes from this tiny, tiny village in the south of Italy. I didn't even know it existed. It makes me very curious and I want to know more. 3,000 of Nottingham's Italian community can trace their roots to Acciatura. While the village is packed for the festival, only a thousand people actually live here now. This is the area where I was uh, brought up. In a few seconds I'll show you the house that I was actually born. Rocco and Antonio's link with this place goes back generations. Sadly I had to leave when I was four years old. It's Has it changed a lot since you were little? Oh, the yeah, village, yeah. yeah. Yeah, tremendously. I mean, Theirs is one of the oldest families in Achatura and one of the first to leave for Nottingham. This is how they used to be. They used to put a curtain across the back there. The animals would stay in one half and, and you know, the others, the children, everything would stay in this half. And is this what your house was like it, when you were yeah, little? Yeah, it would have been original. Well, similar to this, yeah. Same age of me, that one. Yeah. What, 40, 43? Uh, at Antonio's Cafe at Carlton in Nottingham, their father remembers leaving Italy behind. Was it hard to leave your family in Italy? A little bit, yes. Yeah, a little bit, a bit upset. But what you cannot do? If he wanted the money, he gone out. But it takes some money. After the Second World War, there was no work, no food, and no future for many families in Acciatura. Starting from scratch in a foreign country was their only option. There wasn't really a choice, like you say, um, at that time they had to think about where the money's going to come from, uh, you know, to feed its children basically, you know, leaving mum over there, they just had to, you know, come over and work hard for it really. Solvenega? Yes. Take away? Yes. On the other side of Nottingham, Rocco Van Whaley runs a fish bar in the lace market. Without his great uncle, hundreds of Italians might never have set up home here. Thank you. Cheers, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. In Acciatura, his mother tells me how the exodus all began. This man, your uncle, Salvatore, yeah, yeah. was the first. Was the first one because uh, he was prisoner of war. Maria's uncle Salvatore Lo Scalzo was a prisoner of war in Nottingham. He wrote home and told the villagers there was work in local factories. If somebody asked all the Italian prisoners of war if they want to stay there. Uh, she said, if you want to stay here, we find you the job and you can stay. So my uncle I said, why not? I've got to take this chance. And after that, one after another, one after another, one after another. What do you think he would make of the fact that so many people followed him? He was proud. He said, oh, I've done something to everybody. Yeah, he was really proud. Salvatore Lo Scalzo gave his village a lifeline. And that's how a new Acciatura began more than a thousand miles away in Nottingham. <laughs> Until now, I'm I had no idea where they were coming from and what this meant for them. This year's festival is coming to a close. Nottingham's Italians have done their bit to help the local economy by spending their money here and generations of the village have been brought back together. The whole tradition, the whole festival, the whole, the whole celebration is, uh, is incredible. A chance to remember the past and a special link with Nottingham, which gave so many families a future. Thanks to everyone for making us so welcome. Well, that's it for this week. More surprising stories next Monday. But from Gunthorpe, it's goodbye. Or should it be a Arrivederci? Next week, 70 years on, we remember the heroism of the Home Guard. You are a new call. A call with its traditions to make. But you have already got your motto. And your motto is, kill the Bosch.